Praise the Lord. If you have your Bibles with you this morning, my friends, please turn with me to the word of the Lord found in the book of Romans chapter 10 and beginning at verse number 9. That's Romans chapter 10 and beginning at verse number 9. And we thank God today for all of our listeners out there by the way of the internet that are around the world. We thank you so much for listening to the radio program. We appreciate you so very, very, very much. Romans chapter 10 and beginning at verse number 9. The Bible says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and, thou, and shall believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confessions is made unto salvation. For the scripture said, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Therefore is there there for there is no difference between the Jew nor the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not heard? And how shall they believe in him in whom they have not believed in? And how shall they hear without a preacher? I'd like to talk to you today for a few moments here. Get saved today. Get saved today. My friends, we are waiting too long to get saved. We are waiting years and months and days to get saved. We are waiting uh -huh, for our friends to get saved. We are waiting for our unsaved husband to get saved. We are waiting for our unsaved wives to get saved. But no, my friend, no, 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 no. Get saved today. Don't wait on nobody else. Uh-huh. Don't wait on your brother. Don't wait on your sister. Don't wait on your mother. Don't wait on your father. You get saved today in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, then you shall be saved. My friend, salvation is for the lost, and salvation is for all. Uh huh. I remember the day when I called on the name of Jesus and asked him to come into my heart. That's been quite some time ago. And I am thankful to God, amen, that he came into my life. Mm -hmm. My life has been spared because of Jesus coming into my life. My life was a wreck. I was a, a, a wretch undone on my way to hell. But Jesus stopped the hand of the enemy from destroying my life. Mm -hmm. And the power of the name of Jesus penetrated into my heart. And the Spirit of the Lord moved over my life. And I was no longer the same. I was no longer my own. Hallelujah. And the power of God took over. The Bible says, For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. And with the mouth, open up your mouth today. Right now, do it today. Don't wait till tomorrow. Do it today. Hallelujah. You said, Elder McCray, I'm not the perfect person in the world. Well, I didn't ask you to be. Uh-huh. I'm not the perfect person in the world, and neither are you. And neither are many out there today. Mm -hmm. But my friend, when you call on the name of Jesus, and you ask him to come into your heart, there's a change that comes into your life. There's a mindset that God will put inside of you to study and to read his word. To begin going to church like you've never gone to church before. To call on the name of Jesus like you've never called on the name
name of Jesus before. So you can't wait on Sally. You can't wait on Betty. You can't wait on Tom. You can't wait on Denise. You got to come for yourself in Jesus' mighty name. You can't wait on that individual. Uh-huh. That you've been waiting on to say, well, if he gets saved, I'll get saved. No, my friend. You get saved today. Call on the name of Jesus today. The Bible says that if thou shalt confess, that means you. It's singling out everybody else but you. Ha. Hallelujah. It means come on to Jesus while the blood is running warm in your veins. See, tomorrow is not promised to me nor to you. Hallelujah. I'm not just talking to you. I'm talking to those that are around the world. I'm talking to those that are out there in Malaysia, Philippines. Those that are out there in Jamaica. Those that are out there in Queens. Those that are out there in the Philippines. Those that are out there in the Bronx, New York. Those that are out there in Illinois. My friend, I'm talking to those that are around the world. Get saved today. Hallelujah. Stop praying around. Stop waiting on somebody else to get saved. You get saved today. Call on the name of Jesus and ask him to come into your heart today. The, the enemy is on the rampage. But my friend, you can be saved today. You can call on the name of Jesus today. You can ask God to come into your heart today. You, I plead with you today to call on Jesus. There will be a change that comes into your life. The Bible says... For the scripture says, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be, and I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For the Bible says, For it is the power of God unto salvation. I am so thankful to God, hallelujah, that I'm saved. I'm thankful to God that he came into my life. I am thankful to God that I'm no longer my own. I am thankful to God, hallelujah, for the name of Jesus. For at the name of Jesus, my friend, the Bible says, Every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. It's not just one church. It's not just your church. It's not just your preacher. My friend, Jesus came for the lost. He died for those that were out of the will of God. My friend, I was out of the will of God. I was raised up in church, but I stepped out. But I'm so glad. I am so glad that I had a mother Hallelujah, that kept on praying. I had a mother that kept on believing in the power of God. I had a mother that told me one day, Michael, you need to get saved. Come on to Jesus while the blood is running warm in your veins. My friend, tomorrow is not your destiny. Tomorrow is not promised to me nor to you. You got to make up in your mind. Hallelujah, that you're going to stop the clubbing. Get out of the club and come on to Jesus. Hallelujah. God's got something better and still waiting for you. Glory be to God. He's got a mind for you. He's got a mind that you can step into the things of the Lord. He's got a mind that you can transform somebody else's life. Hallelujah. Don't die. Hallelujah before your time. Don't die. Glory be to God before your time. I said come on to Jesus. This is a plea to come to the Lord today. I'm pleading with you. Come on to Jesus. Make up your mind. Hallelujah. While the blood is running warm in your veins. Come on to Jesus. He's waiting for you. He's waiting with open arms for you. Come on to Jesus. Hallelujah. He's waiting on you. My friend, don't let the devil kill you. Don't let that devil destroy your life. Glory be to God. I I remember one time I was praying and seeking the power of God and I began to intercede for those that were trying to commit suicide. And it was a young girl out there. She was about to commit suicide. Uh, she had been attacked by somebody in her family. She'd been raped and molested by someone in her family. But I interceded on behalf of her soul. I said, Lord, don't let her kill herself. Lord, don't let her die. Hallelujah. And I'm saying the same thing to you, my friend. Don't die in the name of Jesus. Come on to Jesus. Make up your mind today. Look at the word of God, my friend. The Bible says, for there is no difference 
between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. I am no better than you. You are no better than me. We are no better than one another. We are just a bunch of hunk of flesh. And we need Jesus in our lives. We need to be saved. Glory be to God. And we need to be born again. And the Bible says, how shall they call on him in whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? My friend, God called me a long time ago. I ran for years, but I thank God. Hallelujah. My friend, come on to Jesus. Make up your mind today. Make up your mind today. Have a mind that's made up and ready to come on to the Lord. Have a mind. Glory be to God. That's made up and ready to come on to the things of Almighty God. God wants to use you in leaps and in bounds. He wants to use you like never ever before. Hallelujah. But he can't use you in the way that you are. He can't use you in the shape that you're in. You got to come out. Glory be to God. And separate yourself from the ways of the world. I got brothers that need to be saved. I got sisters that need to be saved. I got cousins that need to be saved. My friend, come on to Jesus. Make up your mind. Hallelujah. God is waiting on you. Yes, he is. He's waiting on you to make that decision today. He's waiting on you to make that change in your mind today. That you're going to come on to Jesus while the blood is running warm in your veins. Those that are on the internet, make up your mind today to get saved and call on the name of Jesus while the blood is running warm in your veins. Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't wait till the next day. Do it today. Call on Jesus today. Ask him to come into your heart today. Ask God to save you on today. And make up your mind, my friend. Hallelujah. This is a mind-changing day. To make up your mind to come on to Jesus. Don't wait on nobody. Don't wait on your friend. Don't wait on your neighbor. Don't wait on your brother, your sister, or your mother. You come on to Jesus while the blood is running warm in your vein. Hallelujah. Until next time, my friend. Get saved. Don't wait till tomorrow. Get saved today. In Jesus' mighty name, God bless you. Amen.